One of the best flavour combinations would have to be salty cheese and smooth, sweet honey. So I'm going to put feta that's going to be wrapped in brick pastry and crispy fried and serve it with a drizzle of warm honey with some thyme. It is the best combination. And the best thing about this recipe is there are only five ingredients that are needed. Now, one of the ingredients you may not have heard of before, this is brick pastry. Now, it's a North African pastry, not to be confused with puff pastry or phyllo pastry. And what I love about it is it's extremely versatile and it goes super crispy if it's baked or, as I'm going to do, fried. Now, you can get this frozen at specialty stores. You want to defrost it in the fridge and then it's ready to be used. So let's start with our brick pastry. I'm going to cut it in half and you want to make sure you just use a few at a time so it doesn't dry out. So I've cut that. We'll place one on the bench and the other one we'll just cover. And then for our feta, use good quality Greek feta for this. I'm going to cut these into batons so they're bite size. So straight down the centre and then again so we get four very even slices of feta. Now to wrap this feta. So we'll pop it on an angle and quite tightly we want to wrap it. So just fold it a few times, tuck in these sides like as if it was a little present and just keep doing this until it's completely covered in that brick pastry. Okay, so that's the first one. Let's make a few more of these and then I'm gonna fry it in some olive oil. You want it on a medium to high heat so it doesn't cook too fast. We just want it to gently go golden brown. these morsels of joy. So crispy on the outside and I know these are going to be so gooey in the centre. So they are piping hot. So let's cool them down for a moment while we make our honey mixture. So I've just been heating up a pot just on a medium heat and in with some honey. I'm using this lovely New Zealander honey and we want a few generous spoonfuls. So about three or four tablespoons. And this will take moments just to warm through and melt. And to this, I'm going to add some thyme. Now, I've just got some classic thyme, but if you can get your hands on lemon thyme, even better. It's such a wonderful, mild, floral flavour. So just a few sprigs is all it takes to flavour this gorgeous honey. And as you can see, it's melting straight away. Oh, look at that. So good. I also want some crunch with this. So I've got some pistachios, and I'm just going to place them onto my board and with a knife, just roughly chop them. So I like the idea of little speckles of green there, big chunky bits and smaller bits. So just run your knife through it a few times. That's looking good. Let's plate this up. I like to place these crispy brick wrapped feta, just pile them up on top of each other. Just put a few there and one there. And this honey has melted nicely, so we're going to just drizzle this over the top. Look at that. You should get lots of the thyme. See how glossy they automatically go. Wow. Finally, our gorgeous crunchy pistachios over the top. And when you look at that, you may be mistaking, oh, that might be a dessert. Mm -mm -mm. This is savoury and it's absolutely delicious. Well, I have to have a little taste of this. This one's got my name on it. And I want to show you inside of this and how crispy this is. Oh, that is a delightful sound and that's why I love using brick pastry. And look at that gooey, gooey cheese inside. That is the best combination ever. Crispy brick pastry, you've got that salty cheese. You can see how soft it's become. It's really warm. And then you've got sweet, smooth honey. I love this combination. If you haven't tried brick pastry, do your research, find it online, get it, 
make these, you won't regret it.